Okay, so let's look at example 3. So, what we have here. So, I have 1.0.1 molar of my weak acid. Hence, I knew that my C, H, 3, C, O, O, N, A is my strong conjugate B. So, I'm just going to draw. Misalkan lukis dulu. In the class, I do have my... Um, apa ni? I do have my my conjugate base with the number of mole dia adalah 0 0.025 and I have my acid with the molarity of uh, 0.1 molar and then volume dia adalah 200 cm cube which is equal to ml lah juga ok so this is my solution ok so maknanya total volume kita sekarang ni 250 ok and the molarity of acid masih lagi sama Okay, but then I do not know my molarity of my conjugate B. So, masukkan sahaja because the volume is the same lah. So, it's 250. So, now I'm just going to write down the equation of dissociation. So, my weak acid partially dissociate. So, the concentration adalah 0.1 molar for all of my species. Okay, lepas tu I have my conjugate, strong conjugate base. The dissociate, okay, and then dia pun ada dia punya own concentration. So, I'm just going to write down macam biasa just to make it clear lah bila kita calculate our pH. So, pH is equal to pKa plus log of my conjugate base divided by my acid. Okay, so... I'm just going to substitute the value into the into the formula. So, sama sahaja both tu adalah 0.1. So, masukkan sahaja and then my acid. Uh, there's only one choice, 0.1 juga. And then hence, we get my pH. Okay, so now let's look at um question B. So, dia bagi dia kat sini. Okay, so betul kan please, I don't want H to so 4 change it to 1 HCl. Ha, tapi kali ni dia baru dia ada volume okay. Macam biasa kita akan buat dissociation dia So ada H plus Next what I'm gonna do adalah okay. We're gonna write down So kita nak tahu which one yang H plus akan react with And then which one yang dia tak nak lah Again dia tak nak acid Dia tak nak same charge Lepas tu dia nak only base with a high concentration Okay lah kalau concentration dia beza So I'm just gonna cancel out all the acid dengan same charge Okay, and then tinggal base kita which um first ni adalah fully dissociated. So, I'm just going to cancel out. So, what we have what I have here is both from C3COO- ada from pink dengan purple. Tapi sekarang ni is the same concentration. Tapi dalam table kita dia adalah mole. Okay, kenapa kali ni miss nak guna mole sebab dia ada soalan ni ada volume. Okay, tapi sekarang I'm just going to write down the formula macam biasa. So, just gabungkan sahajalah. Okay, and then after that, what I'm going to write adalah, sebab dalam table tu, dia adalah mole kan. So, I'm just going to write down the number of mole of each. So, MV over N, let's say number of mole is MV over 1000. Molarity is given. Volume pun sebenarnya dia sudah bagi. Pada awal dia kita tengok 250. And then divide by 1000. So, I get the number of mole of my yang conjugate base ni lah. Okay, and then the same goes for my acid. My acid pun sama je sebab concentration dengan volume dia sama. So, yang ini mesti boleh straight away laju sikit. Okay, but then sekarang ni uh, dah dapat dua-dua. Sekarang mesti nak cari number of mole of H plus pula. Okay, H plus adalah from your HCl. So, yang ini lain sikit lah. Kita kena tengok based the information from your question. So, molarity 0.1. Volume dia adalah 1. Over 1000. So, I get the number of mole is 1 exponent negative 4 mole. Okay, so sekarang ni barulah Miss boleh masukkan dalam table based on the number of mole. Okay, so again change tu kita akan ambil the smallest number. Okay, selalu ni kita akan ambil yang the addition tu lah ataupun the disturbance yang ada tu. Okay, so sekarang ni Miss boleh cari dalam my pH. So, um, Miss masuk sahaja. Uh, so, this is the formula. Okay, tapi again, remember, ini adalah the number of mole. Tapi, kita nak concentration. So, what we're going to do now adalah kita akan cari concentration of each from the number of mole yang final. Okay. So, I'm just going to find the concentration adalah 
Okay, CH3, COO. I'm just going to do one by one lah. CH3, COO minus number of mole over volume. Which must be in liter. Okay, so volume dia. Okay, volume dia yang ni lain sikit. So, dia tu 150 plus 1. 1 tu daripada mana? 1 from your HCL. Yang di, dah sudah di addkan itu. Okay, so I'm just going to add up the value. So, kita dapat the number of mole for your acid. So, ingat 250 adalah from your solution. One tu adalah from your HCl. Okay. And then sekarang ni. Kita akan cari pula. The number of mole of my acid pula. So sama sahaja. Number of mole over volume. Number of mole tu. From your final. Yang from your final tu. Dalam ICF table. Okay. Divide by volume dia pun sama juga. 250 plus 1. One from your HCl. 250 adalah the solution itself. Okay, so sekarang ni Mizah ada dah the, the new concentration of my conjugate base and my weak acid. Okay, so I'm just going to substitute the values straight away. So, ambil, uh, jangan lupa, jangan ambil kamu punya from mole. Kita kena ambil your concentration. So, I get my pH is 4.75. Okay, so... Yang ni panjang sikit step dia sebab kita ada cakap pasal volume. So, kalau volume, ICF kita mesti mol. Lepas tu kita kena cari new concentration. Now, let's look at question C. Dia minta pH kalau 1 cm cube of 0.1 molar na O. So, I'm just going to write down the dissociation. So, I know it will form na uh, OH minus. Okay, so I'm just going to summarize. Uh, OH minus nak react dengan apa? OH minus mesti dia nak react dengan... Eh, dia tak nak react dengan base. Dia tak nak react dengan same charge. Dia tak nak react dengan stable ion. And then, tapi dia nak react dengan acid. Given dia nak the higher concentration. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel out the base dengan same charge, dengan stable ion. So, what I have left adalah acid dengan H+. Weak acid partial di dissociate. So, Well, eh sebenarnya dia lagi yang high concentration H minus yang H plus yang kurang Terbalik dari row tu But you know what I mean Okay So I'm just going to write down the equation The react dengan OH minus So I will form My, S, my uh, apa ni Base dengan H2O Again Acid dia akan donate H plus Kalau base dia akan accept H plus So that's why lah I get the product Okay so Again, given concentration, kita kena cari number of mole. So, yang ini, number of mole ni miss copy paste je. Okay, tapi number of mole yang CH3COO- dengan acid ni boleh lah. Ha, ini sama je. Tapi kat bawah ni kan H kan. So, miss kena cari number of mole of OH ataupun NAO. Okay, NAO ni dia, dia dah lain dah dia punya concentration dengan dia punya ni kan. Molarity. So, I have to change it. Yang ini mis masukkan sahaja dalam table yang OH- ni. Kita akan ubah. Eh, OH- sama je lah. Okay. So, I'm just going to insert the value. Kita akan tolak dengan change tu akan ambil the smallest number. Okay. So, kita akan dapat our value. A new final, uh, a new value lah which is in mole. Okay. So, kita kena tukarkan dia kepada concentration. Okay, again, 150 plus 1 divided by 1,000. Sebab so, nak in liter. Volume tu must be in liter. Okay, so yang ni pun 250 plus 1 divided by 1,000. So that the volume would be in liter. So now, I will get my pH is equal to negative log Ka and concentration of conjugate base divided by concentration of acid. So I will get... I'm going to substitute the values. Hmm, dah lah. Okay, value tu dah ada dah dalam matas tu. So, I'm just going to take it. So, hence, I will get my pH. Equal to 4.76. Okay, so this is the solution for your question 1. Okay, yang ini lain dia sebab bila dia ada volume, kena tukar dalam, kena tukar mole, lepas tu cari a new concentration.